Oh, hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to another beautiful day in Timberborn, our beaver kind, beaver, beaver punk? Beaver, I think the game is actually titled as like beaver punk. Yeah, because it's, it's beaver people and they're building like a civilization after humans are dead. But yes, we have little beavers that are going up this direction because today is the first day that we get to harvest runes. That's right, we get scrap metal for them. I don't know why beavers need scrap metal, but we can build cool things like a shredder. I'm not talking the Ninja Turtles kind of shredder. I'm talking like a metal kind of shredder. And we can also make an engine at some point. I always think that's cool. Burning things is fun, especially beavers burning things. There's something satisfying about that. Now I'm wondering if we need to like plan to cut these trees down. We're gonna see because somebody eventually here is going to start it. I believe it's in the same district because it's blue up here, so I think it might work. I'm not really sure. We also just have a lot of unemployed beaver people. Beaverlings. And unfortunately, Corvon died of old age. So maybe we should like hatch some more babies. <laughs> oh, actually, they're gonna hatch pretty soon. And we can see their animation when they come out of the hatching chamber. That'll be kind of exciting. I don't really know why, but something satisfying about the iron teeth beavers and the way they make babies. Maybe a different one is faster. This one is. He's almost ready to pop out. Come on, be born, little fuzzball. Be our new kit. Oh, there it is. <laughs> nope, never mind. That wasn't. Oh, that was it. There's just an automatically a next one in there. That's our new dude. He's age zero. Zul Zel a, a, a G. Zel you know what? We'll just make it a word we can pronounce. He's Steve. Steve's gonna be our friend for a long time until he doesn't have any carrots to eat and then he dies. <laughs> Whoops. This is also concerning. There is no power going to this thing because the water is going to that side of the river because we built this. I think it'll change when the next dry season comes and it'll update the power flow, but that's okay. Oh, check it out, Zinjo. Zinjo was getting, getting metal from it. Oh, that's amazing. He's eating the buildings. It's, uh, you can go to bed, dude. That's cool though. He started eating the building, just biting on it. Now I got it with his fangs. Oh, there we go. It's becoming uh, drought season again, so that's kind of cool. Somebody said in one of the previous videos, I thought was interesting that beavers have a higher iron content in their teeth, which makes them kind of rusty looking, which actually makes it so they can like eat the trees better. They're, they're literally iron in their teeth. That's kind of where the iron teeth comes from. I thought that was cool. This might also be bad. I don't know if I have enough food to last through another dry season. I do have two different groups. We need we need both harvesting. You guys both harvest. We need all of the carrots in the world. We also need a bunch of these so you can go back to that. Zati wants to help out. Oh, we have another un unemployed one, so that's kind of sad, but fun. You should be able to work over here, or we can make you work down here. I don't know, but I do have 13 scrap and 13 of those 40 of the boards. That's awesome. So I might as well use that over here. I'm thinking I might be able to utilize... I want to try to figure out a way to destroy that and let the water flow in. Oh, never mind. They're doing it by themselves. Oh, okay, run. <laughs> oh, just because that was done automatically. Nice. That was a very, very quick build. I didn't even see it happen. So I'm going to cancel. I just need to not have a road in here. So this is kind of cool. We're hydrating more of the map, doing what beavers do best. Oh, that's awesome. That whole back corner is now hydrated. I can use that, well, in the spring, I can use that for more crops. Now our warehouse is full too, so that's not cool. I should unlock the larger warehouse, but it takes 40 boards or 80 boards. That's a lot of boards. We'll just make another small warehouse for the time being. And since we do need a lot of berries, I might just fill up this area with berry bushes because we can grow all the way out there with berries. I'm also very glad that this thing has full water in it because we have a lot more water now that that's full of water than just trying to fill these things up. They like these, but I don't really care. This has like 300 units of water and these are only like 30. So this is 10 of those. Uh oh, here it goes. Okay, good. A lot of everything dried up, but we still are holding water thanks to our little levee that we created. Now the real question is, oh wow, this is interesting. This thing's flowing backwards. Like notice that the water's coming in and it's changing the flow direction. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's amazing. And then everything is nice and green in here, too. That's even better. I totally forgot that I had a dam here. Nice. Well, a levee, not a dam. Is it a dam? It's a dam. The levees block it entirely. Hey, Dingus, can you... Thank you. Work for two hours of the day. It's his name is Dingus. All right, let's unlock that storage unit now. I know it costs a lot of points, but that's fine. It's always nice to have big storage. Large boy. 
I don't want it there. We can put it here. I like it on the main thoroughfare. We'll keep it right over here. Because we're getting a lot of resources from up in this region too. I really want to get the shredder. But it takes so much power to run. 250 horsepower. And then these little wheels only give 170. These wheels give 170 as well. So I'd almost have to have two power wheels for one shredder. Or like two water wheels. I guess two of each. Or an engine. Two engines. That's kind of fun. But that requires gears. Oh, this... Th you know what? This doesn't even require... Um... It, d it just requires trees. It, ha it burns trees. And it doesn't require the metal. But does a shredder require the metal? What requires the metal? Hold up here. <laughs> the bridges. <laughs> and probably like the monuments too. No, that's planks. Interesting. The carousel does. 400 horsepower for a carousel? Wow. This is a little bit difficult. Is that the metal right on this button? Or is that the planks? I feel like that's probably the metal. Yeah, because this creates the metal. So we have to have a shredder first in order to make the the metal things. Okay, we can do this. I also feel like I want to build an explosives factory. Should I play with the metal or go with the explosives? Man, that's a tough choice. Okay, let's build a shredder. It, uh, it costs 300 science points, that's okay. Oh my word, that looks so cool. All right, we're gonna put it right here. Should I put it right here? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put it right there. And then I'm gonna put a wheel on both sides of it. Just a regular power wheels here. Not the, not the like the car thing that kids drive, but like a, a big thing for beavers to run in and build power and stuff. That's gonna be amazing. I like the look of that building too. We got the thumbnail coming up in a little bit, my friends. We do have three unemployed people as well. So if this ever gets built, then it'll be cool. If, if it ever gets built. We don't have any planks. Most of our planks got put into this. Thankfully, we still have beaver-powered thing. Oh, wow. That's interesting. So the power transfers building to building. I did not know that. I'm going to turn the... Do I need more gears? Do I need... You don't need gears. Do you need gears? You need... Oh, you got enough gears. Oh, we're going to pause you for a little bit. We definitely don't need gears here. We just need more lumber. There we go. Make that power. Make that power. It only requires 50... Oh, I guess both of them would work. But we need, yeah, th never mind. We're not going to work that one because it eats the planks and we need planks. Yay, the drought ended and we kept the water in our little backwards pond here. That's so cool. I was also looking over here. We could potentially, potentially use explosives to blow this up and then flood this entire area or like dig a canal through here with the explosives. So we could have an additional water channel there. We could go entirely around this area, which would be amazing. But check this out. Over here, there is a whole nother water canal this way that needs to be destroyed. Oh, good. And we have pure flow through that. It, it's not stuck to the side. That's awesome. So yes, we could we could breach this and, and the water could cascade down. And we could turn the whole map green like a terraforming process. I love it. And I just used an entire day cycle to explain my devious plans. So my next step in beaver domination of the world is to create this area in order to be a, uh, a potato farm. I think potatoes are the way of the future. And I could put in an additional... Wait, we need one of these to be planting and one harvesting. Yeah. And then we could put in the potatoes over here. You know, you boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. And like that, that could be nice. Yeah, they're just digging all the potatoes. They love it. We're going to build up a... We need a grill, which requires stuff for that. There's also the grist mill and the bakery. We don't need those yet, but the grill doesn't need power. And it makes cooked potatoes. So we can put that in right here. And we could also build another additional farmhouse right there. Because potatoes are better food because they give them more happiness and everyone likes being happy. I just like using up all of my resources. Why wouldn't I? That's a fantastic idea. Just throw logs everywhere. We do have a couple unemployed people, so let's get a few more workers in here. Because I gave them a lot of projects to do, not going to lie. Hey, we got one of these things done. Cancel that. Nobody needs to work in that until this thing's ready. And we're still chopping down these things. Wow, this takes a long time to harvest. Not going to lie, that's amazing though. I also don't know what this depth marker does, but I think I need to build one for science purposes. And we can discharge water. I'm thinking we can blast little holes in the ground with explosives. We can turn this off too, because nobody works over here. Yeah, we could blast little holes in the ground and then dump water, nope, into each one. That'd be kind of cool. And while we're at it, everyone's done a nice job, so I'm gonna give them a beautiful campfire to camp at. 
and do the camping thing. And probably because we're going to need it eventually in other barracks. We're just going to make these lower priority. So they don't need leisure. Are you kidding me? They're beavers. We have Elibax here. Um, just camping out at the new grill. Waiting for potatoes that'll be ready in a couple weeks. Oh, yes. The second wheel has been constructed. Turn that off for a little bit. And we just need 50 planks here. Not only that, but we still need another 11 planks on that side. I'm wondering if it's not time to make up a second one of these over on this side of the world. It's a nice flat area. You could also work on the paper mill. Ah, I hate, I hate doing this though. Okay, let's make a water wheel times two maybe. Hmm, interesting. Okay, we'll put one here and one here. They just take logs and we have plenty of logs. And since I learned the ways of the big brain, um, I think I can just connect these two. So if I build all of that plus give enough space that I could put a third one in, I think... Water wheel. Uh, it doesn't quite fit. Well, I can put a third one in here. Then I'll just put in two lumber mills right next to each other. Nice. Carrying over these things. Oh, wow. I did. I totally forgot that they could carry logs in here. And they didn't even care to go across the bridge. They just swam across the water. That was nice of them. Good job, little beaver people. I feel like I definitely need a few more lumberjacks, too. Maybe I should delete this one and then just make, like, a, a lumberjack alley here. Because there's a lot of wood they need to play with. Let's delete this. We're going to build a road through here. Eventually, if I can find the right buttons. Click, click, click. And then we're going to put in a few more lumberjack huts. Just like that. Eight lumberjacks should be more than enough. But we'll see what happens with it. Oh, and awesome. The large warehouse has been created. Great. And the first of the water wheels has as well. Oh, I love how they swim underwater now. In the demo that I played before, you couldn't go underwater if you're a new viewer to this series. I still think it's a little bit weird that they can't drink the water. Uh, they have to drink out of these, but whatever. It's a video game. It's not real life science. And the potatoes are maturing, so we've got that going for us. I want these guys to prioritize the potatoes and then harvesting. And then if someone else comes along and has time to, to replant it, that's cool. I think that's enough. Like six people working there. Should be good. This is also fantastic. Look at all those water wheels. That's so cool. And they're working on creating these. So the beavers are going to go chop down all these trees. Let's make sure. Yeah, they're all in the thing. Cool. We'll get that one too. Anywhere else that has a tree that we can kill? Nope. Oh, yeah. They're having fun now. <laughs> they're chopping down all the trees. This is great. Look at them go. And they're restarting. We just have to get a, a nice equilibrium. A good balance of trees being harvested and not being harvested. Oh, and beautiful. These are both working now, too. They have plenty of power. That one doesn't have a worker yet because we gave so many of these things. Let's turn one of these off just so we get another worker over here. And then we'll make all the planks in the world. Awesome. And the storage over here is completed. So now all of the workers are full. We have lots of jobs. We have lots of trees being cut down, and they should be popping out a lot of lumber out of here. Can I put in... Yep, we're going to go planks here. I don't really want weird things like grilled potatoes or gears. We could put gears, no flowers, no explosives. This is going to be probably our main, like, uh, tree harvesting area. I don't want berries or bread or carrots in here either. Scrap metal's cool. Planks, paper, that's all cool. And another dry season is upon us. I don't really care. Because I have plenty of water, I hope. And every single time I get a plank, it's like, oh boy, we're just going to run it clear across the map and put it inside of this gigantic grinder. Doesn't look like my forester can keep up with this. It's interesting. We're going to make that working. Oh, but I know is going to start uh, grilling up some of those beautiful, beautiful potatoes for us. Nicely done. We have 44 in storage and 12 cooked. 16 cooked. Wow, he's fast. It bothers me that they go across underneath of the water. It really does. They don't need... They could walk... We could build a bridge. We need to build a bridge. That's that's what we're going to build with our free stuff. Our funny... Our fun stuff. We're going to build bridges. Because we... Oh, it's working! We we got the shredder up! The shredder's here! We're going to turn those on. And we're going to... We're going to build... We're going to build... We have a shredder. Oh, yes! 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 Oh they're, oh, they're shredding metal! They're shredding... We have two little hamsters running on the wheel. And it's shredding... That is incredible. I've done it. I've done it. I've captured I've, I've done I've Captured I don't even know science and stuff. Oh, we have our first scrap metal made beautiful. What is it called? Where'd it go? Why'd they steal it? I need I need that back metal blocks 
Yes. Oh, that is a cool looking building. I love the little wheels on the side of it and the giant grinder in the top. Power input maximum, 250. So we need more, we need more than just the two wheels to make it work 100%. And then if nobody's working, he's like, ah, uh, yeah, we're not, we're just gonna go to bed. And now I should be able to unlock the engine, right? We just need 20 blocks. I mean, why not, right? And if I put it, oh, that thing looks cool too. I want it behind it for science purposes. Does it fit? It fits. Does it fit perfectly? It fits perfectly. We just need a, a road back there. It's gonna take them a while to get it done. I don't really care though, because it looks so cool. I also have zero gears. But I got 45 planks now, so we have that going for us. And these guys are like, we don't have any power because the river stopped. Of course it is. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna have to redo the entire... Um, oh, wow. Okay, so these guys killed all of the trees. We definitely don't need all of them. Um, I feel like I need that engine going pretty strong pretty soon. I need to look at the, the bridge too, because these guys are all using that. Bridge over gaps. Oh, these are so expensive. Large metal platform, sturdy column. How high are they? Because that shows like four high. But the suspension bridge over gaps, that's two wide, three wide. So if I did like, oh, those are so expensive. If I did this, I could build platforms where that road is. Oh, I'm gonna do it. Oh yeah. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Do I need that there? And like, right there? <laughs> yep, that's what I need. Can I, oh, I put it on the, I put it on the shore. They built those things so quickly. Okay, let's delete this. I don't like that idea, but I'm doing it anyway. And we're gonna, we're gonna do the other one. Okay, and then we build the suspension, suspend, suspendy bridge. Oh, that's so sick. I love it. We're gonna delete this one too, for other purposes, like science and technology. Probably gonna need the, the one or the two. We'll see here. I should have just gone for this one, but it's so expensive with that metal. All right, I know this is not the way it's intended. I should have done like the four, but it's too much expensives. And I think it still looks cool. We have a bridge across the lake. Yeah, the idea for that is to, to close up these chasms that are like six tall. So we don't have to put a big old metal platform in it. Looks like I also need a backup system for power. I'm not a huge fan of what I did here because I blocked off the power with the industrial log pile. I feel like I need to build a new one over here. But there were trees in the way and I didn't kill the trees. Maybe I should kill the trees. Yeah, we'll just remove these for science purposes. We get rid of them. And we should have enough lazy people around. There's five unemployed. Not saying they couldn't get a job. They're just, they just don't want to work. They just want to sit here in the campfire all day. I need to give them jobs so they don't have to sit in the campfire all day. Work at the power wheel. There we go. Close those down. That'll work nicely. We'll put in the industrial log pile right next to it. And then as soon as that's built, we'll just rip this apart. Because it should be pretty close. Or you know, nobody actually wants to build it. Even though we have... I just build a builder flag over here. That'll help, right? Hauling post, builder's hut. There we go. That's what it looks like. Wait, what? Okay, fine. Ooh, and the drought has ended. I almost forgot it was still going on. That's okay. Can you guys build this? Nice, it's built. All right, we're gonna empty this storage now. And I'm hoping you just bring it across the street. Because I think if I delete this one, then bad things happen. But you know what else is interesting? Check this out. I can put in another log storage on top of this log storage <laughs> a little bit weird but whatever and then we can do this and then we can build a platform right here and then we can build a road right there how cool is that i am also going to put a pause on the breeding pods we have 40 things now beavers i don't really need any more until i need more work for them or more food or something this is awesome. <laughs> you, we got a double-decker log storage facility going on. That's so cool. Okay, now you guys get rid of all of the wood in here. I promise you don't want it. I don't want logs. I Really, I don't want anything. I would delete you, but I'm kind of scared that I'd lose the 56 logs you have inside. Where are you going with those? Oh, you're going to build up these. Hi, I built some more of these, by the way, if you were wondering. I just really built them because I wanted to put a rooftop terraces on here. It's just something very satisfying about letting my beavers have entertainment upstairs. I can even put shrubbery on top. Yeah, we're gonna unlock the shrub for science points. I think we have the perfect equilibrium now on the field, on the on the 
tree field and on these fields. Six farmhouses or six workers. We have plenty of food going in. We have plenty of wood that's continuing, which is awesome. Is this? It's not emptied yet. It will be. This got created though, the builder's hut over on this side of the world. I love how this thing is still working, like producing a ton of stuff. We have all of the metal blocks that we need now. We just need gears. So we'll turn this one back on. It'll take a little bit of time. Oh, that is so awesome. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's so, so sad. One of our beavers got stuck creating that and then died. Oh no, that's terrible. I feel bad. We had a casualty. He had no stairs to get down and just kind of died of thirst right on the stairs and then got taken care of. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, he died for the better good of beaver kind, because now they're having a very good time drinking their carrot ale. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, sad and, and awesome at the same time. Is this better yet? Can we have that please taken care of? Okay, they aren't working on that very well. I think I might need a distribution post, even though I don't have an additional work area. I just need more beavers hauling things. So I'm just going to delete it. Yeah. Okay, it did delete. That was not good. It deleted all of my extra wood that was in there. Whatever. Time to make a gear workshop, times two.com. Wow, and they built those things so fast because all of the resources are right here. That's awesome. Okay, we did want gears in here. We got gears, perfect. And I built another workshop here. I just don't want anything in it right now except for um, metal blocks and scrap metal. So our little beaver here, we'll grab it from there and he'll bring it down here and then they can grind it up and put it into side my engine. Oh, that's so cool. I can't wait for that thing to happen. I'm definitely going to need more wood, though. We need one more gear to make an engine to burn the wood. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yes! Yes! We have an engine. Oh, is that thing going to turn? Oh, it does! Oh, that's fantastic! Okay, this thing has to have way more than enough power now. Oh, yeah. It's like, yeah, we got so much power. So we can turn these off. And then we'll still have enough power. Oh, no, we need a little bit more. Wow, that only does... It does 200? Okay, that's fine. If I give it this one... Oh, that's so cool, though. <laughs> oh, we have power! Oh, no. Never mind. <laughs> that's gonna eat up so many logs. That's gonna eat so many logs up. I don't even know why. It's just because we need metal for for purposes. What, what else do we need metal for? Do we need metal? Oh, we need metal for the printing press. Interesting. So we can have books, and then we can make explosives with the books? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look into that in the next video. So anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed our adventure today in Timberborn. Got a lot done. I uh, really like in this game, and I hope you do too. So thanks for watching, and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. And a special thanks to all of the channel members and the Patreons, including Alan H., Apollo Bunny, Otto Dave, Ben, Dickie J., Desby, Eagle Ark, Maxer, Whip It Good, Baron Fox, Zarnoff, Deegan, Jason M, Ral, Iffy Sphere, Splatter Sacks, and Joe B.